on. I wanna. Yeah, it's unfortunate. That cliff line is too. <clears throat> but <laughs> I've got plenty of oh, other. Yeah, I got the ladder, so you could go up on. We don't have the ladder now. We would have to go out to Tom Nook to get the ladder, right? The problem with having a house on a cliff, they actually hate. That, until you get a proper positioning, so I'm probably going to have to drop. Like. However. I mean, this still cleared out the area anyway, and nothing says all three have to 100% be over there. I could have, like, there's plenty of room over here if I wanted to, or working down and backwards so that the third house is actually centered between these two, and I just need to clear out those like, all the trees in the vicinity here, and that would actually look really good. That's why I was clearing the... Could finding a tree, like, in between the two houses huh? beside... No, because I'm probably going to move some trees back up here then. <laughs> because what I'm about to do, and this is going to be completely fine and we'll just move the trees up a little bit so i'm actually glad i made that clearing the way i did because what we're about to do without complete like i can uproot that one that one and uproot this one and now we have this huge, sprawling center area. If you play structures too close to each other, all block the flow of traffic. traffic. So, that, well, it's the right idea, it's just the... Uh, I'm probably about to... <laughs> uproot those trees to actually completely maximize the space and I'll just shift those behind. Okay, and now not being able to eat all the things at once is becoming an actual problem. And we'll just shift the trees properly behind everything once I uproot. Because now I can stand, like, center, and now we have this massive... And that shouldn't yeah, should affect anything. I'm trying to move it. I, I know, but... I'm trying to center everything so that it's not too clustery. That'll be... Okay, so this should... That, that's a really good... It will destroy that one tree, I believe. Yeah, that is all it would do, is take out that one. But you still do have one fruit left, so you could just plant a tree behind them and then just uproot that one if you want to move all of them. Or just do that. Hold on, I'm gonna plant some... I'm gonna plant a lot of the trees back and re... readjust and we'll get yeah. the ladder and everything. Yeah. 
Okay, so... I can just plant that in the center. Having trees like directly next to people's houses isn't seen as a bad thing, is it? As long as they're spaced apart, like this. No, it's not, Curzon. You just need to have them one space away, which is what I'm doing. I've played enough Animal Crossing where I know... Basically, this... Ooh. Two points. What this game cares about... Trees can be near houses as long as nothing is obstructed with, like, you can't have it near a house in a, like. Like the space directly next to a house, that's a no-go. There's no, oh, that's too close to flip, apparently. That's fine. That'll do. Yeah. That's fine. You just need to not obstruct... The house is too much where you can basically... That's why I'm just rearranging these. Because trees can draw, the trees grow one space apart, so all I have to do from the house is just work my way down the sides here, and nothing will be obstructed. Because trees grow one space apart without dying, so I can just run the cliff side for now before oh yeah I can just plant those oh, I don't even have to dig nice perfect and this actually lines right to the bridge and I can drop another tree let's just pick it Let's just pick a random spot that isn't too populated. Because that's about to have a... You can just dig up one of the spots of it, like weeds or something. You know what? Hold on. That large clump of weeds down there you can use. No. That's at least two spaces. Because I can fit between them. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we can... I didn't want... And now from where the egg was... Perfect. I'm gonna pick up my egg so that it doesn't get destroyed. <laughs> Let me just make sure this pans out in my head how I think it does. Looks like nothing was destroyed. Yeah! Perfect, 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 perfect. We're a little bit off center, but Animal Crossing. The island in itself is off center. Yeah. And also, you kind of have to be off-center, because if they were in an exact symmetrical triangle, that would be too close. Yeah, you're right. The game would deem that as too yeah, close. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's see what the ladder... And this didn't destroy 
destroy anything. All we did was relocate things. I feel like that's why they gave you the ability to relocate so we can keep a around cherry blossoms for any like potential or just keep trees in general yeah but like i said the reason i wanted to keep the cherry blossoms specifically was for any potential bugs and whatnot that could spawn on them or any future holidays that have items come from standard non-fruit trees oh yeah the r is like really fast letter Four of every wood. And here's the different furniture items I need. So I'm gonna... We're going to get the ladder and we're gonna get to work on the other crafting. Well, I also need to drop that up. Did I make the... Funny thing, yeah, I did. Nice. Now I can change my look! This mirror looks like a pear. And if you buy the advanced options, you can get the extra colors, and you can do face paint and some other stuff, so. How large does, like, that storage... It gets come? rather extensive. I assume it what, other than the, like, what, six pages in New Leaf? So let's get crafting. So, the most important one... Like, you need all of these different furniture things, but this... Okay, so that covers that. And I can just pull more this way. Sweet. And my trees aren't even in the way. Because you need to place... Check interior items. Wood sample bed, wooden chair, class 8. Okay. Check exterior, so... Log, yeah. It seems like it's all of those new things. Does the item you have to give to a villager, does that tie into their personality? These houses are fixed. Oh. The first three houses are fixed to kind of give you a little mini... Well, and also, you know, the, like, you would be kind of dead gamed a, a bit if you... Uh, a potentially guy, the game wanting a DIY recipe you don't have and have really no way to get. That would be bad game design. Have to get more wood. Snicker, snicker. Whew. Ooh, that needs a lot of wood. This also covers a lot of crafting things. So we're probably gonna have to do an island tour soon anyway. Yes. But for now, I'm just gonna get as much. Oh, we made a stool again. This one's a hard stool. stool. <laughs> we both went to the hard joke because it was made of hard wood, but calling it a log stool, I feel like would have maybe been funnier. Uh, to make the table, I need to sacrifice the toy. And you need uh, that for the stair out. I don't know how the fuck that works. Also, a lot of this is just some extra furniture I can use, and I can actually make that one music player 
Let me see if I can turn in any of these. Well, you can turn in the first few. What in see the sample of bad There's the chair. That's one. We couldn't turn in any other items, so we don't Exterior is different. No, I was gonna say for the No, oh, we don't have anything for the exterior then. Wait, we just made a log stool. It's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So anyway, how do you feel about this game giving you weird limitations when it comes to making choices that involve more than one item, like Carson was complaining about not being able to eat more than one fruit at a time? It is a really good bit of game design to give the player an option if you have 10 apples to let the player be able to eat up to 10 apples by letting them scroll a number up and down for the number of apples they want to eat. A lot of people get annoyed by the game constantly limiting you like this because when it comes to crafting and buying items with Nook Miles, you end up being forced to craft items individually or make Nook Miles purchases individually, and that can be a little bit slow and ridiculous. Even if you had enough clams to make 40 fish bait, you have to craft every individual fish bait one by one. And even if you had enough Nook Miles to purchase 10 tickets, you have to buy every ticket one by one, and a lot of other menus in the game do not give you a bulk option, and I do understand why a lot of people think this is kind of annoying and bad game design because it slows the game down for no reason. Even if this is a casual game, giving the player options to speed things up does not make the game any more complicated, but Anyway, you can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments, or you can leave them on social media. All my social media links, as well as my Discord link, are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shell for a minute if you subscribe to the channel, and if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow, but anyway... I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will see you all next time. So good night, everybody.